Hello everyone, check this out. Can you believe it? We finally made it to the roof. We have been aiming for this milestone for so long and it's kind of bittersweet because framing has been super fun and this is one of the last stages of, of framing. We still have the stairs and some interior walls to do, but this is pretty much like the last big item that we need to do for framing. But we're so happy because we are at the end of October, so winter is around the corner and snow is going to be here anytime now. So we have a lot of, a lot of uh, work to do, so let's get into it. So I'm up here at the reach beam and uh, everything is working out very nicely. We've been doing framing. Uh, look at our rafters, they're looking pretty nicely, very straight. And uh, we haven't made a mistake in a while. And uh, we're probably getting overconfident because of that, because uh, as soon as we installed these lookouts, we installed them all, this one's behind me. Uh, we realized that they were not perfectly flat. Uh, we put a level on them and uh, yeah, they're, they're off uh, on the long side by about an inch. So what that means is I'm going to have to fix them up here uh, with the uh, four foot overhangs up here and I'm going to be ripping them to size now. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of like a Murphy's Law because we actually said we gotta get these guys perfect because we don't wanna be cutting them in place. So what can you do now? So let me show you how I planted this. So I thought I would be showing you a really cool slick way of uh, fixing these rafters and making them level and all that stuff but I'm actually finding difficulties as to uh, what I'm trying to do. So what I was gonna do is I was uh, setting this uh, piece of sheeting on the factory side that I know is perfectly flat and it's going, it was going to serve me as a rib guide. And then I would be running the circular saw right here all the way to the end and it would get uh, ripped uh, perfectly level. Um, except uh, I've been encountering some problems. First off, leveling the, uh, uh, the rib guide is taking a little bit of time. Uh, second, uh, the circular saw doesn't fit very well in some places, so I would not be fully cutting everything and I would need to be cutting other places. And uh, finally, that's mainly the biggest concern over there. Um, I would be cutting so much of the 2x12 that I'm concerned it might not even, it might not meet the requirement of the engineer anymore. So, um, I'm just gonna do the easy thing and the better thing, and that's going to be to remove them. We'll be using these two by 12s for blocking and uh, we'll just start over. I'm going to offset the layout uh, so that they don't fall on the connector. So it is what it is.
today is the first day we get snow of the year and uh, we couldn't beat the weather and we weren't really expecting to beat the weather. We still have some work to do on the roof and um, oh well that's what it is, that's what you get when you live in a place that snows basically, that doesn't snow basically five uh, months of the year so oh well. So check us out, bring any memories. So, we had our first snow of the year and we were pretty confident that our car would do fine and it didn't. <laughs> so here we are. We have been trying to get out of here for about three hours today. Yesterday we tried for I don't know how long. And um, anyway, it's Sunday night, so we hope that we still have a job tomorrow. And so we made it out of uh, the property thanks to the courtesy of our neighbor who lent us his uh, chains. But now we got stuck somehow trying to remove them, but at least we are in town now. We are getting closer to home. So last time you saw me driving at night was because we were getting the Kaufman crew. It was like 4 a.m. then. Today is 6.30 a.m. and we're getting the Kaufman crew again. A couple days ago I got a call from Jared and he said that they had availability for the entire crew uh, for Thursday and Friday. And so I said, yes, let's do it. I called my lumber yard to make sure we had enough material and we should have gotten the material yesterday. So we're in good shape to get the roof taken care of. Yeah, and I should mention it's November 2nd, so it's right on time. Hopefully we'll have the, the roof set up by the weekend and there will be no more snow shoveling. And to be honest, my biggest concern is not snow, but rather wind. So the better uh, strapped up everything we get, the better. Yeah, so let's do it. Awesome, so we've had the Kaufman crew for two days. Uh, they're going home, it's Friday, and we'll be working on the weekend as well. Uh, but they've made amazing progress. We have basically the entire roof uh, framed out. I'm here on the flat roof uh, part of things. So let me show you from this perspective real quick what they have. So they have taken care of the fascia for the front roof. This is a two-footer. Uh, we'll go inside in a moment and I'll show you what's uh, going on in there. Uh, they have taken care of the uh, flat roof uh, for the tiny house or the office here we have a little detail that you can see we, we come in at an angle here's where the balcony will be and uh, they have taken care of that fascia as well so it's pretty awesome uh, so now let's go into the house and I'll show you some other details this is probably the most nervous I've been out of the entire build in the, enti in the entire house basically here we have these lookouts, the ones that we had to remove. And uh, Jared actually went out and uh, stood on that plank uh, to get that fascia installed. And uh, oh my God, I was definitely very nervous, uh, but he's definitely showing everybody who's boss, you could say, and uh, he got it done, so uh, incredible. Now I'm here by the stairs, and uh, there's another huge hole right there, which is another skylight. Uh, this is super awesome. You can see the rafters over there, over here. But check this out. This hole is basically where the stairs are. 
So as you come up, uh, the stairs will have very nice natural light. And that has been by design from the get-go. So this is looking pretty awesome. Uh, it's incredible to see it in, in person now, uh, rather than on paper or even a render. Check us out, we are on the roof for the first time. It's pretty gorgeous out here. Just look at this view. It's a little bit nerve wracking because if we look down, we are maybe five or seven feet, of, uh, so five or seven floors above ground, which is uh, a bit nerve wracking, but it's also gorgeous. We just need to be pretty careful while we are out here. We had the Kaufman crew come and uh, they helped us with the sheeting. They did it pretty much in one day, which was awesome. And we asked them to help us with the taping, but only on this half of the roof. So we could do the other half and you could watch us do it. We don't want to miss on the phone, right? But well, the truth is that we are doing some videos on best installation practices for Hoover. So that's why we needed to have this side and take care of, of that ourselves. So with that said, this is the only thing we are missing. We are pretty happy that we get to do it today because we are expecting snow tomorrow. So if we can finish it, then we don't have to worry about water or snow getting into the house. So that's the only thing that's left. So let's get to work and let's finish this episode. Well, we made it. Uh, check this out. We have the uh, roof right in. Uh, actually, today we're expecting a huge uh, snowstorm, like at 4 p.m. Uh, we had to finish this before then, it's like 10 a.m., so uh, it's incredible. You know, uh, I feel uh, amazing at the fact that uh, this was our goal at the beginning of the year, to have the full framing done, and uh, we managed to do it. We didn't do it by ourselves. Uh, obviously, we got uh, our help from um, Mexico and... Um, Obviously, the Kaufmans were amazing. I don't know what we would have done without them for the roof. Yeah, and, and this has been pretty much the muscle that we have been looking forward all year long. We are not completely dry in, we're still missing um, the taping of, of the walls, but this is pretty much what we were aiming for before winter. And we achieved it and, and it's just an awesome feeling. Hector has been doing the 3D renders in, in Blender for so long and, and looking at that image and now seeing it actually in yeah. real life, it, it's just pretty, pretty fulfilling. I've been seeing this house uh, virtually for like the last two years. I know exactly how everything goes, every little uh, stud, uh, piece of number. So it, it's incredible to see it in real life. And you know, in real life, it is way, way bigger than we thought originally. Uh, if we knew, if we could tell ourselves from back then a couple of years ago, if we should do this, I would tell myself, uh, you gotta make it smaller. <laughs> yeah. And uh, no steel, no steel. Size down, yeah, remember that, <laughs> never use steel. It's just not worth it. <laughs> so. uh, but you know, we've done this and we've learned so many things. Um, so it's just incredible, I guess. Uh, it's an incredible feeling because uh, just a couple years ago, I looked at the plants and I had no idea what they were saying, what they meant. Uh, so, uh, to be honest, I actually do feel like a builder now. So, we'll be... We are builders. Yeah, we but officially, <laughs> before we were faking it till we made it, but now <laughs> we've made it, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why we're sitting right here at the roof. It's like we're sitting at the top of the mountain. We, we climbed our mountain. Um, yeah, there's still a lot of work to be done on the interiors, but all of that will be easy. We didn't finish everything that we wanted to finish. We wanted to do the exterior insulation, get the ice and water shield and all that stuff, but uh, winter's here, so not much we can do about it now. So I think this could be the last episode of the season, so I guess um, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you soon yeah. on season four probably. Yeah, or maybe this is on for the shed, who knows? I think we're moving to the shed, so it'll be season two for the shed. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for watching. We really enjoy making this content and it's great to have you here. Thank you so much.